We was getting ready to head back to the fish boat, and this white van pulls up. Vroom, the door comes. Vroom. Hey, get in. We'll take you to the boat. Get in. We was like, no, nah, bro, we good. <laughs> Listen. Y'all said y'all wanted to hear about our horror story as first yeah. time cruises that led us not to take another cruise for 11 years. Yeah, man. <laughs> y'all said y'all want to hear about it? Here you go. Picture this, Norfolk, 2008. <laughs> Shout out to a real one. But embarkation day first started off where embarkation day took us at least five hours. It started off so promising, got through the line, and then we ended up in this big holding tank. That's the only thing that I could say to describe it. It looked like this. a warehouse to it me. It did. It, was, <laughs> it wasn't the nice place that it is now in Norfolk, Virginia. It was like a holding tank. Yeah. And they <laughs> did not have any type of organization to it because we don't have a lot of cruises leaving from here. Even though they do it yearly, it's only like maybe six sailings a season. They didn't have a well-oiled machine and we were a part of that fiasco. Then we finally get on board. We're on the Lido deck. You hear about this good old sail away party. Storm breaks out from out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Everybody's running for cover. They're trying to get the covering up over the ship, but <laughs> it's not coming in fast enough. So everybody has to take shelter in the Lido marketplace. Yep. So everybody is in the Lido marketplace plastered against the windows, <laughs> trying to just not be crushed by all the people that's trying to take shelter in one area yeah <laughs> that was a lot storm clouds finally rolled away gave us enough time to do the infamous muster, muster. drill yeah our muster station just happened to be outside, outside on the outer deck and when we got out there it was still wet it was sticky, it was humid, and then you put all of these bodies against each other and everybody's complaining about how hot, hot nasty, sticky, yep. <laughs> smelly, like it was a lot for one day. So we finally get ourselves into our room preparing and the next thing we know, it's about nine o'clock and we're pulling out finally. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm sitting here like, I thought we were supposed to pull out around about five we're or six. Yeah, we're supposed to pull out at five. Nine o'clock, we just pulling out of Norfolk, Virginia to head to Nassau, Bahamas. Yeah. So, mind you, after all this bullshit, <laughs> we still ain't got nothing to eat yet. Mm -hmm. So, we go to the dining room. We get there. They ain't ready. So, now we have to wait again <laughs> to get some food. So, we finally get into the dining room. And, of course, since we've never cruised before, we didn't understand that the dining room was going to be a vibrating it's dining not, room. It's not. That's not normal. <laughs> yeah. But in our case, if we first time cruising, we was like, okay, so we got to eat. So the whole time we eat, we... <laughs> I mean, the water is coming yeah. out the glasses. I mean, it was doing like this. Yeah, the whole time. So, finally, it's time to go to bed. And... Because we left out of Norfolk at around like nine, so we like four or five hours behind. That goddamn captain put that boat <laughs> in super drive. That's what I'm calling it, super drive. And when we was going, boy, that boat was like this. You see water, then you see black. Then you see water, then you see black. Then you see water, then you see black. <laughs> I was so, like, what the hell? So, mind you, I'm out sleep. I'm gone. And so, the next day, the queen told me, said, I got up in the middle of the night, and I was throwing up everywhere. I, I got so... I was Earl, man. And the reason why she got so seasick, because we had C-bands, but we hadn't put them on by this time. Mm -mm. So, we put them on after, after I she got, got sick. sick. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. It was really bad. All right, so the next thing is we end up in Nassau, Bahamas. Boom, our first port day. We yes, are we excited. It. Let me give you some back history. But we were more excited because we was like our first time out of the country and right, a national, so we right. excited. Yeah. We were really <laughs> excited. So I had gone to my pharmacist to ask him what to do about, you know, seasickness because I already had an issue with vertigo at that time. And he told me, he said, don't take the drama, man, because it's going to make you sleepy. So go ahead and put the C-bands on when you start to feel sick. While having that conversation with him, he let me know that he had just come off of a cruise himself. He wanted to know what we were interested in. Yeah. And I said, well, I wanted to swim with the dolphins or go to the beach, you know, something real low key. 
And he was like, well, don't do all that stuff with Carnival because this costs so much money. Mm -hmm. Just go ahead and do it on your own. Like, you can catch a water taxi for $5. Mm -hmm. So, didn't have the money to begin with. So, if you tell me I can do it cheaper. For free. Or, for, <laughs> or almost for free. Yeah. I'm going to do that. Heck yeah. So, he gave, <laughs> he gave us instructions. He said, when you get off the ship, go through the gate. Go to the right. There's a building. They will sell you a water taxi. And you'll be, over, be able to go to Atlantis, go to the free beach, and then you'll be able to get to any other things you want to get to. So we bought our ticket and the guy said, stand against the wall. We have our group right here. In a minute, we're going to take you to the water taxi. <laughs> so all of a sudden, this man comes from around the corner and he was like, anybody going to Atlantis? <laughs> Follow the star map. He took off like the waiters at Olive Garden when they go to seat you. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he took off and we're all like high. We like this. <laughs> and the mat, we. Look. <laughs> so we fought. I mean, we're going through these places like it's like dirt. It's like little makeshift stores with curtains and drapes and stuff. We end up finally on the outskirts where we're at this little pier what was before us was a ch a fish boat with church, church pews, pews mounted on it and we not exaggerate <laughs> so everyone has the same expression on their face like i'm terribly afraid but i can't let them see my yeah, fear can't let them see because fear. you can't let the people feed off of the fact that you were fearful so we all looking at each other and i'm looking this it was some Asian people. I remember them like, it's nobody's yeah. business. They were sitting beside us and the lady just held on to her daughter like this. Yes. <laughs> so we're sitting on, we're, we're sitting on like pew number two. <laughs> and I'm looking around for some life jackets because I'm like, at this time, if we go down, I'm going to need a way to preserve my life. Right. I'm going <laughs> to need, need a fighting chance. I didn't see no one. At this time, they decided it's time to make some money. The guy said, what did he say, Stella? My name is Willie. I'm your international tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> and he went on to tell us about, you know, you, if you've been on any kind of excursion, cruise, whatever. Yeah, they give you all the history. They're going to give you the history of where you are. So then he takes his hat off and he was like, I don't get paid for giving you the information that I gave you. So if you would please go in your pockets and give me some money and tip your international tour guide. So I'm like, oh, skip. He legit raised the offering like they do at church. Yeah, he did. That's what he did. When we got off of the boat, the fishing boat, they said, this water taxi runs every 30 minutes. You can go to Atlantis. When you're ready to come back, just come back right here. It will run Every 30 minutes, we'll take you back to the ship. That's all you got to tell me. I will be back exactly. on this ship, on this boat yeah. to get over. Soon as we stepped off of that little <laughs> trail that took us from there to get to the sidewalk to where Atlantis was, there was a drug dealer. Drug dealer was like, mm, what, what you need, what you need? I got crack, I got pills, I got weed. I don't, <laughs> I don't have no needles, but I got all this. I said, <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? <laughs> like, take me back to Virginia, where I know the I know the craziness in Virginia. Right. This right here, I don't I don't know I don't know this. Just in case you was wondering, the shirts we got on these are power and black t-shirts. We'll put all the information below in case you want to get one for yourself, Mike. And so now we're headed to go try to find this free beach. So we found this security guard, and we was like, hey, we trying to find. This free beach. He was like, um, no, it's not free, but we don't remember how much the cost was, but we just know whatever the dollar amount that he quoted us, we, have we ain't have it. Not for that. So, of course, at this point, we are so disappointed because this is the reason why we took this freaking water taxi to come over here to this free beach so we could have something to do all day. Now, we stuck over in Atlantis for eight hours with, with nothing. nothing to do. Nothing. I, I equated to you go to work and there's no work to do and then you got to sit on the clock all day long and try to make up some stuff to do to buy the time. Yeah, That's what we had. Did. We had to make up stuff. We did so much stuff. It was walked, so boring. We were so frustrated. We was like, was I cannot hot. wait till it's time to go back to the ship. We was getting ready to head back to the fish boat and this white man pulls up. Vroom, the door comes, 
Hey, get in. We'll take you to the boat. Get in. We was like, nah, bro. We good. <laughs> we good. So we get back. We get back to where we supposed to catch the fish rope back to the other side to the ship. And we get there and the water taxi is not there. So we sitting around waiting. I think we waited for at least probably another hour mm -hmm. for him, for them to come back. So we finally see them coming in this and he's like, boom, back. We only got like about an hour to get back across to the ship and we only got about, and this ride is about 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. So we, he pulls up, we gets on the boat and we think we could get ready to, to go on because we the only ones. Yeah. He was like, nah, we can't leave yet. We got to wait for some other we people. We got to have a full thing. But we was like, uh, sir, we only got a certain amount of time to get back on the ship. Mm -hmm. So we need to get back so we're going to be late. He was like, that's what's wrong with you Americans. You're always in a hurry. <laughs> We're on island time. We're on island time. We move slow. We was like, we ain't got time to move slow. <laughs> we need to get back there. So now it was time for us to go back. And it was time for him to start this motherfucker up. And he went to pull it on this motherfucker. And she said, <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, please don't tell me. Please don't tell me that this song B ain't fitting to start. And when the finally, when the finally Started up, it said, boom, and this big ball of black smoke said, woof, everywhere. <laughs> so you know it now, my like, okay, we got 30 minutes to ride. It's dark. <laughs> it's dark. It's dark. <laughs> and we going back. So the whole time I'm like, okay, please, Lord, <laughs> don't let this fish boat. Cut off in the middle of the water. Or catch on fire. <laughs> so now we're back on board. On our way back to our cabin. So we see a sea of employees in the hallways. And I'm like, what the heck is going on? And they're at this particular cabin. And they have these sheets. And they're tied into knots. Like you have a sheet tied. Sheet tied. And I'm like, what the, the hell is going, going on? on? And all you hear is one, one two, two, three. Pull! One, two, three, pull! <laughs> what the hell is going on? So we're get, trying to get to our cabin, and the lady was like, it don't make no sense. I told him not to do it. So you know me. Oh, you like, don't not do what? What you, what you tell him not to do, sis? He was on the toilet taking a mm, and he would flush it as he was sitting there. He don't got suction cup to the toilet. I said, he suctioned to the toilet? She was like, yeah, and he can't break the seal. You can hear the toilet still roaring because you know that toilet on the cruise ship is loud. So she called emergency, I guess the emergency number. They sent some workers to take some sheets to pull, put to it around, around, around him. him. Yeah. And they're on, they're on the outside of the door going, one, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. So they can break the seal. Sound like, sound like they're the war. <laughs> Don't flush that toilet while you're sitting on it. Oh, yeah. It will pull your way in there. Uh-huh. So, by this time, we thinking that everything is back to normal. But, the queen's calf muscles is hella sore from walking around Atlantis like for all that time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, we said, let's, let's go get a massage. But when we got there, they said, no, let's not do that. Let's do acupuncture. And she was like, okay, let's 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 do it. Say bet. So she warned the queen that hey, once this is done, you're gonna feel a little loopy and whatnot. We leave after it's done and we go to the little deck so we can just sit out and chill in the sun and relax. But when we was <laughs> walking, the queen was like, wait a minute, Stan, I can't see. <laughs> like, what? She's like, yeah, legit, I can't see. And I was like, well, baby, maybe it's because you got your shades on. Like, no, I'm trying to tell you that I took the shades off, and I got to, but I just can't see. So the acupuncture, some kind of way, shut her eyes down. I, <laughs> but I, I said, my vision said, <laughs> so I'm sitting out on the Lido deck looking like Ray Charles, like, is my vision about to come back? I'm high <laughs> as hell, y'all. Yep. I am high. When she said loopy, no, she meant high. <laughs> My peripheral was gone. <laughs> I mean, gone. You could be doing this beside me and I don't it's see you. you. It finally started to come back in where it, it said, and I was like, okay, I'm going to be, be good I'm going to be all right. <laughs> After this, I'm like, okay, this has to, our next stop is Freeport. 
it has to be better than Atlantis. We're gonna have us a good time. We're gonna redeem ourselves, right? So we pull into Freeport. We have a ocean view um, room, so we can see outside. We peeped outside. Both Stanley and I at the same time said, "Oh hell, hell no. no, no, hell no, we not." No. All I saw was rusty pipes, wood like stacks of wood. Looked like they were drilling for oil. Yeah, it was. I was like, like no, uh, -uh. where the hell are we? <laughs> I said, you know what's that? I can't, I can't do anything else. I, I'm broke. I don't been on a fish boat. I don't pay three hundred dollars for pictures. The food is mediocre. When we do get it, yeah. My eyes been shut down. My calf muscles yeah, bucked and, up. And I'm this, sick. And by this time, we're gonna put like over a thousand dollars of stuff on our credit card that we didn't have money for. Yeah, cause we were yeah. bored. Yeah. Like we didn't have anything <laughs> to do. We we skipped Freeport. Didn't yeah. get off at all. We just laid out on the decks and enjoyed each other. So by this time, we was like. We just need to get back to Virginia. We don't like cruising. Cruising sucks. This is boring. Nah, this ain't what we thought it was going to be. And when we get back, you ain't got a world but us. Never no ever doing this again. No. This was a total waste of money. So we get back into Norfolk. Why it took another five hours for us to get off the boat. And I just remember we was in the hall waiting. And this guy was in front, he was like, I don't know what's going on, but y'all need to let, let me off, off this boat. <laughs> and then it started a chant. Yeah. Let me off this boat. Let, let me, me off this boat. <laughs> let me, yeah. <laughs> you can't make this up. That's as much as we can remember. Yeah, it's been so long ago. But it was, it was terrible. But now that we understand how to cruise, our crews have been excellent. Yeah, we they have been. Yeah, we started that cruising in 2019. So I just said that to say like- And that was thanks to Stanley's aunt. Yeah. Because she was like, I want to cruise, but I won't do it unless Lynette coordinates it yeah. and does it with us. So we said that to say, if you had a bad experience on your first cruise, give it another shot, man. Yeah. But this time go about it right. Be prepared. And, and be prepared because we was not prepared. And which we talked about how we wasn't prepared in this video right here. So go ahead and check that out to find out how we wasn't prepared so you can be better prepared for your next cruise. We out. Peace.